Good morning. Told you I'd be back in the morning, didn't I? Look, we've had a nice, uh, actually not a bad kip. I feel quite uh, quite fresh this morning, quite awake. Um, I've had my porridge, I've had my coffee. Poor old Roy, well not poor old Roy, I think he half planned it. He's brought all the gear, he slept in the car, so uh, he needs to go for a bit of a walk now. We'll straighten him out a little bit. Um, but yeah, made him a coffee, we're all ready to go. So uh, we're gonna, the sunrise has already started. We're well into golden hour. There's not a lot going on in the sky. Um, there is a few clouds around, but we're going to head up that way. And there's a small tour up that way, heading towards Hegatur. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head up that way, have a look and see if we can get a little bit of a sunrise. It'd be nice to try and get a bit of a sun star again. Um, yeah, that's the plan for first thing this morning. And I think a, a bacon butt is in order and uh, we'll take it from there, I think. We've rested on a position. Um, you can see Roy's gone over that way for now. Um, we're going to go down and get breakfast and we'll start a bit more of the sort of workshop we sort of style of things we've decided to come up this way this morning um walking up the pathway i was going to go up onto that tour but with the sun coming up behind us or over that way right behind you what is it with batteries eh? <laughs> i don't have a lot of luck with batteries my fuji dies quicker than everybody else my gopro dies quicker than everyone else my m50 is forever dying i just don't have any luck with batteries do i um yeah what was i saying um yeah, we're gonna go for breakfast and we'll start sort of workshoppy sort of thing a little bit more concentrating on what we're doing but yeah the quick rush was um i was gonna go up onto the tour there the bottom one i don't know what the bottom one's called but it's just been out on a video a couple of weeks ago you would have seen it um i climbed up on a rock you all know the one um higa tours up there in the top quite a big prominent tour uh so we decided to carry on up this pathway to see if we can take the tour two, two tours in and the scenery rather than just being on a tour because um, I don't think we were going to make it in time. The sun's behind us, there's nothing in the sky whatsoever, but there is a little bit of cloud over in the distance. And I think, I'm pretty sure, right down in the middle, uh, you can, when you see the image, there's a little tree. Behind the tree, you've got some steam coming up, which I think is the cement works at Castleton. And then I think you've got Mam Tour right over in the distance. So off to the left is going to be something like uh, when it's passed or something. But that's the general direction we're shooting in. Um, we've got some elevation. We've come up this little bit more of a dirt track. Um, sort of heading up behind as you can see there heading up behind us there was a, a big rocky crag I might even have a look at that before I go back down to the car just to see what there is actually up there um, but yeah I've got this path leading you through the image uh, if I put the camera back out of sleep yeah the path comes from the bottom left hand corner leads you right the way up well it doesn't lead you all the way up but it leads you in through the image um, and then I've got the, the, the tours look quite small in the background I'm on quite a wide angle lens um, it's working again at the moment fingers crossed I don't know how long for but I am on manual focus which might make a bit of a difference it could be something to do with the auto focus that's playing up um, but yeah I've got this path leading in from the bottom corner left hand corner leads you through to the middle of the image and then you've got a clump of trees down in the middle the two tours and then your eye carries on into the distance but it's, it is small it's all more about the foreground and these brown heathers I've got um, but I took a couple of images the first one I took I got a bit of a stone or a rock down on the left and it was just on the edge of the frame and I didn't have the one on that side in so I've gone slightly wider just to get that one so I've got two rocks either side I think it just balances the image a little bit otherwise you just have this big patch of brown on this side which wasn't doing anything so yeah I think that's all right f11 to give me the the depth in the image um yeah it's all right pastely soft sort of morning colors there's a little tiny bit of frosting everywhere but it is only a little bit tiny bit I might be able to might better bring it out i don't know but it's a it's a pleasing little image it's it's nice there are some colors now hitting the clouds so i'm gonna i've got a three bracket exposure on and i think i'm going to expose for the sky bracketing is just simple it saves me messing around with the filters yeah not bad not bad pleasing the clouds are coming across which is quite nice you get a bit more of this coming over i'd have to go a little bit wider so yeah that's this morning roy looks like he's find a rock and he's going for a bit of cloud base so that's his decision there this morning. So yeah, if we don't see you before, I'll see you at breakfast or just after breakfast and uh, enjoy a couple of images, a little bit of B-roll and I'll see you shortly.
Are you winning? Are you winning? You only saw we, yeah. <laughs> Have you been here before? I've been told if we go all the way up and then make our way back, that's the best bet, yeah. That'll do then. <laughs> Probably see you later on. location now, uh, completely different place to where we was last time. Uh, last time we were back up near Hegatur. Uh, we've come down to a place called Wymanbrook. Um, we've seen this on YouTube loads of times. If you want to see this place, just check out a few vloggers like uh, Reef Photography and stuff like that. He's, he's been down, he's got some cracking, cracking photographs. Very, very nice images to have a look at. So check his video out, really quite cool. First time I've been here, so We've done what most people have said, and that is walk all the way down, or part of the way down, because it still goes on and on and on. But we've walked down, I don't know, a mile, something like that, whatever it is, I'm not quite sure how far, but we walked down a fair way, and we spotted probably 10 to 12 shots that we want to stop and take. So I'm going to try and challenge myself to keep under 20 photographs. So that means just taking one, possibly two, of each shot. Now, that doesn't include bracketing, because I might have to bracket just to get my details in. So yeah, final images. You know what I'm like for taking shots. The final images is I'm planning for 12. All right. So if I can get under 12, I've nailed it. But yeah, it's a busy little. It's not a busy place, but there's a lot of people walking down here. But what a cracking, cracking location. Absolutely stunning little place. Thought I'd just switch you back on just before I start getting my camera out. We are still with Roy, by the way. This is a, this is a two-day workshop. Even though that it doesn't even feel like a workshop now, it's turned into a competition. Um, but it's good, isn't it? Fantastic. It's Fuji X-T3 against the beast of all beasts. You know, this, this thing here, there's just no competition. The detail in it is just astonishing. So, uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what the images come out like at the end, definitely. Yeah, they really are. But it's funny the way we look at things in different ways. Because I'm looking at it as a normal camera shooter, whereas Roy's looking at it as, as, a, as a medium format shooter. He knows the clarity and the detail he can get out of that thing. So he looks at the scene in a slightly different way, which is quite good. So yeah, all in all, interesting. I'm even learning a little bit of something, or picking things up, picking up ideas. And that doesn't mean to say I'm going to be buying one, because I did. Mrs. C will be looking for a new partner, I think, um, on her bit of it, not mine. <laughs> so oh yeah, we've got a light meter out. Oh, now he's getting stupid. I'm just going to turn the camera off. That's just, that's just stupid. Ready? Steady. Stand. Oh, you've got some light coming through now. Absolutely stunning. He's going for another pose. Actually, that's very, very good. Stay very still. Absolutely poser. Got me to go and stand up on the bridge to get a bit of a shot up on the bridge. Um, this, camera, this camera is astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Perfect. That is brilliant. That's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Smack bang in the middle of the frame as well. <laughs> this is really, really nice. I'm going to get him to send me this because I think that's a really, really nice shot. This is his own selfie. I know I took it, but he just saves running and slipping and falling on your ass. Yeah, but he's got the red coat on, which is perfect. Was it was, yeah, it's absolutely, <laughs> absolutely spot on. Brilliant, brilliant idea. It was his idea. He wanted me to go and stand up there because he wanted a nice picture of me, of course. Well, I obviously made the shot. <laughs> oh, it's all about the selfie. Hashtag keep the selfie. Let's have a look. Look at that. Very, very nice. Enough, I love what, that looks like my son staring back at me. Is it? Oh, his son's in the image. Spooky. <laughs> yeah, really, really cool. Really cool. Right, we're going to head up that way. I'm going to take a similar shot. I wasn't planning on doing, so I've now upped the game a bit. I've got to take less as I go up. But I don't know if it's just that that's a, a, a medium format, but it makes that image look absolutely crazily beautiful. You just look like you're in the woodland. You're flowing up through the image. You're walking into the frame. Really, really nice. So I'm going to take one very similar to this, and it is a food, so I've still got the same colours. But my god, that is wicked. 
Roy's just got an absolute stunner. Fantastic, beautiful shot. We're just gonna do me selfie now, like he's just done. I'm gonna get a selfie of myself. He's gonna shoot the camera, and uh, then I'm gonna put the camera away and uh, maybe get a shot of himself. But uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Absolutely fantastic little place, it really, really is. So, when he's finished taking his picture, I've got to hold still. There we go, absolutely wicked. There we go. There's me epic selfie done for today. And he's got loads of selfies of me. That's cheating, that is. Absolutely cheating. But I'm gonna say it again. What a camera. What a camera. Let's have a look at this, see what we like. Oh yes. Very, very nice. A very, very nice woodlandy shot and his starburst is coming. Woodlandy, woodlandy shot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, I'm gonna have another play with the camera, get up a few more shots. And let's just see what we can make going up. Like I say, I challenged myself for 12, but I've taken an extra one down here, which I wasn't thinking I was going to take, so... Oh, well. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I've just seen something else. And I've just seen something else. Right, I know you can't hear me, but you see this little tree there, or see me, should I say. Well, you see this little tree just there. I've got to get a shot of that. That was the other shot we said we were going to get. So I might have to put my long lens on now and just get it really, really tight, because all I want is that section there. And if I can get that section there with a really dark background, it's gonna look pretty, pretty good. So, bear with me, camera out, and I'm gonna show you the image. <laughs> He's hiding, Roy keeps hiding every time I spin the camera around on Roy. switch the camera on just for this one little shot just to let you know what I'm doing uh, because you wouldn't believe me otherwise but there's a, a, a mushroom there it's the first proper red mushroom we've seen all weekend um, over the last couple of days and it's growing sideways out the hill but it's it's beautiful I absolutely love it it hasn't got any little white spots on the top but there's actually some leaves it looks like some leaves have fallen on it and it's almost growing around the leaves so it's really really nice I took a straight on one because I like the red spot I really like that so I'm losing my battle of 12. Um, so I'm going to show you the one of the spots straight on. And then I've gone round to the side. I've done a little bit of tidying up as well. But what a cracking little shot. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Really, really nice. And the first red bit of mushroom colour I found. So really good. And we've got a wedding cake up here. And I'm going to show you the wedding cake. I'm not going to take a picture of it, but it's definitely a wedding cake. You're going to wouldn't believe this.
can get over how fantastic this place is. We haven't moved very far from when we started shooting. We probably moved 50 yards, maybe something like that. Just been taking all the shots as we're leading back up. Stunning little waterfalls, little brooks, little plunge pools, leading lines, bubbles coming through the image. There's pathways leading through from the left, there's rocks leading through from the right, there's canopies of yellow leaves coming over, branches leaning down, diagonal light. There's so much to shoot, so, so much to shoot that you can make an abundance of compositions. We're just shooting kind of wide, not vista shots, but wide scenes, you know, woodland scenes and brooks. You could even get in close and shoot small detail for the waterfalls and stuff like that. There's just so much to shoot here. Um, but I think the wider scenes more floating our boat at the moment because we're getting the lovely yellows and stuff from autumn. So that's kind of what we're trying to home in on really more than anything. But yeah, it's been fantastic. I'm sure you've seen several little images, uh, little bits of B-roll and stuff like that maybe. I'll do the same thing all the way leading up. I'll take a few bits of B-roll, a little bit of showing you the camera, take a few images. I'm not going to talk all the way up because we're just enjoying it and just going all the way to the top. When I get back to the car, back to the van, I'll say hello, check out then. This has probably been quite a long video for a bit of a two-dayer. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. I know it's not my usual sort of style, but um, I hope you're enjoying it so far. I will show you a little bit more as we walk back up, like I said. And uh, yeah, just, just keep enjoying these photos. Absolutely stunning. Really, really, really nice.
<laughs> well, I have a no idea what sort of a video you've just watched. I have no idea how many photos I've put in, but it should be under 12. I hope you've kept count. Um, I've no idea whether you've enjoyed this kind of video. It's been pretty random for me. Just little bits, little clip -its, lots of little bits of video of me playing with the camera and setting up different things, panoramics and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Still with Roy. We're just making our way back now to the car and the boss. We're going to pack away. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to hit the road, get off home. He's got miles and miles and miles to travel. Yeah, all the way to Devon. <laughs> all the way to Devon. That's a long way. I've got to go home and find Mrs. C because I don't know whether she's doing dinner or whether or not. So I'm going to have to get a signal and give her a ring and find out. Otherwise, I'll have to go and visit old Ronald. And uh, he's alright, he's Ronald. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment. Let me know what you think of this crazy, I don't know what sort of a video it is, like I say. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Any comments on the photos, any comments on anything. Uh, yeah, I'm tired now. It's been a long two days, lots of walking, lots of photos, and I'm exhausted, mentally exhausted. So, till next time, don't forget, like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. God only knows where. Ciao for now.